No, a woman is not going to get pregnant unless there's a man involved. It was no different 2,000 years ago. What you have to understand is the way the Bible is written. The scholars used poetic language. There's a real virgin, all right. But the virgin is not the girl whose hymen was not broken. The girl is a people who have never had a contact with God. If you are a woman who is a virgin, you don't know a man, then you cannot generate new life. You can only generate new life when you know a man. A people who have been the victim of lies can never generate new life until they know the truth. And just as Jesus said, he came without observation, like a thief in the night, in the night, in the dark. When the guardian of the virgin was asleep, to the time God came and made one of us pregnant with the truth to deliver a nation of people. The virgin conceived and that child was to be called the son of God. And whether you believe it or not, I'm a witness that the Jesus you've been looking for has been in your midst. Forty long years working, opening blind eyes, deaf ears, dumb tongues, raising up dead people, and you marveled at his work but didn't understand it. When you heard Malcolm, you were marveling at the work of Jesus. When you heard Muhammad Ali Cassius Clay, you were marveling at him, but you were marveling at the work of Jesus. When you hear Farrakhan, you're not hearing Farrakhan, you're marveling at the work of Jesus, a real live Jesus. Wow. This is what's really meant by the virgin Mary. See, growing up in Christianity, they tell you that just believe God can do anything, right? But it's like, I don't understand that. How is it that we have to put sperm inside of a woman in order to produce a baby? How can you just say, oh, that's just, that's just how it is? No. See, the Bible is written in allegory folklore the bible is written in metaphors to get us to is is written in, is written in poetic language as the minister teaches us so it wasn't until i heard the teachings of the honorable Elijah muhammad until i got a understanding of the scripture see the minister is teaching us that we are a virgin people and until we had that intimate relationship with god who came in the person and was able to raise up and impregnate our minds and raise up one from among us, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, as we read in the scripture, is giving life to the dead. Not dead physically, because there is nobody that's being put inside of the grave and they coming out of the grave, out of the casket, coming out the ground. See, that is symbolic that we make literal or they make literal to deceive us. But. He has given life to the dead, a dead people 
When you're not doing for yourself, you are dead people. When you can't think for yourself, you are dead people. When you aren't productive, you are dead people. He gave sight to the blind. We couldn't see these things at first, but now we can see. We couldn't hear these things because we was deaf. Anytime somebody tried to come to us and teach us, it just wasn't, it, it didn't click. But now we can hear. We was dumb and now we can speak. This is all symbolic. Spiritually, he did this for us. So, man, this is the lesson with me. So I'm going to start this series called Study With Me. And we're going to learn these teachings and we're going to learn things together as a people. And I want you guys to share y'all feedback. So what's y'all thoughts on this family? How did you interpret when you first heard the Virgin Mary, Jesus being born from a spirit and, and a ghost and there was no man involved? How did you all interpret that? Share that with me in the comment section.